Hello, N4H and H here. Uh, quick video. Don't have the tripod or camera out or anything. This is uh, just shooting this one really fast. I want you to hear the noise. Uh, it's creeping in now that it's uh, getting getting up to 90 degrees here in uh, Georgia, and the power lines are beginning to act to act up. Now, see that's the power poles. Probably loose hardware, dirty insulator, blown lightning arrestor, and it acts up more in the afternoon because that's when the humidity is lower and therefore the uh, voltage has to build up higher before it arcs over. Now, I'm, this is the FTDX 5000. Uh, I'm going to engage the noise blanker. I know it was kind of dark right now because I'm shooting this really fast. I don't have a light on, but here we go. You see, the noise blanker took care of a good bit of it. There's without it. Now, just so you know, the knob for the noise blanker right here, see the orange line, it's at about 11 o'clock. Anything past that doesn't really help. Here we are without it. See, it's not quite taking care of it all. So now watch the display right here. Yes, and that's ink on my finger. I had to work on my printer earlier printing out some QSL cards. Right, watch the little NB there. I just went to wide mode. I just wanted you to see this real quick while it was happening because it is intermittent. But that's the difference wide mode can make. Here we are without it. Regular noise blanker, see just NB. See what I mean, it's intermittent. And there's wide mode. So my parameters for wide mode, for those of you with a 5000, we've got the width at seven and the level at 33 i start at 33 you know the idea is you don't want to go too high with either the width or the level so i start at 33 and then i'll adjust the width and you don't want to go up here it can cause distortion so i'll i work my way down and you you gotta make an adjustment and let it settle because remember, it's all about timing. It's tracking the noise pulses in the interval, and then it's blanking out your receiver up in the in the front end, in the first IF stage. During the moment, it based upon the timing during that brief instant where it knows that noise is going to pop is going to pop up again. And for some reason, seven seems to be a sweet spot quite often for at least, okay, at least for my power poles. Listen to that. So, all right. I'm going to long press my menu button here and save that. See if I can lighten that up a little bit for you there. I know that's probably getting grainy. But uh, I wanted to grab this right quick uh, before it stopped. Here we are with no noise blinker. Of course, on the 10 meter band. And it is open because Todd's getting some takers. I know if Todd's on, the band's open. He knows propagation. Regular noise blinker. See, not quite handling it. Wide mode. Now, if you have a, a newer Yaesu transceiver that does not have wide mode per se, what you do have are some settings in your menu that allow you to adjust the timing and the level. And uh, so you'll want to go in there and do a similar thing that I just showed you on the 5000. You can do it on a, on a DX10, on an FTDX101, DE, or MP. 
and I say DX10, <laughs> a lot of us that have one call it a DX10. FTDX10 um, has that ability in its menu as well. I've covered it in other videos. Uh, and the FTDX101s, uh, the D or the MP, you know, you go into the menu and do this, a similar thing that you saw me do here. Now, don't forget, they also have a level knob just like this one has, okay? Um, but you've got to uh, be careful about that level knob. I, I usually leave level on the FTDX10, set it three, and I try to handle it with the timing in the menu because mm, when you get to five or more, it's gonna start distorting. So that's one thing about the um, FTDX10, 101D, and MP that you gotta watch out for. Okay, just wanted you to see that. Wide mode does have a purpose, um, but you know, for those of you who may have one of these radios and you go, well, you know, noise blinker doesn't work, wide mode doesn't work. You don't just turn it on and it just works. You do have to go in there and do a little bit of uh, tweaking and it varies from noise to noise. I've I've kind of, you know, I've gotten to know my power pole noise pretty well, so I know just about where to go, and then I may tweak it. Okay, hey, thanks for watching the video, and thank you to the Patreon team who bring these videos to you, and if you would like to join the Patreon team, uh, please do. Uh, they, uh, those of you who are already a member know how this works. Uh, you get some perks. Uh, there's three different levels, and... Um, if you would, join that Patreon team. Help keep the channel going. Help me continue to bring content like this. Um, there are three different levels of participation. Associate, Executive, and VIP. The Executives and VIPs get some perks uh, that are available to them through the Patreon portal. And the VIPs uh, also have an added perk, which is uh, they can get a phone consultation with me. Uh, we'll get on the phone, on Zoom, what have you. And, um, and have a phone consultation. So I um, do appreciate their support. And uh, also do me a favor, share this video, uh, social media, email, text message, whatever, share it uh, so that others may benefit from it if you, you, know, you have some friends who are fighting noise or what have you. And also too, if you would please consider uh, clicking that like button that helps out the channel with YouTube, uh, with the rankings, please do that for me. Uh, smash that thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you do subscribe to the channel be sure to click that notification bell so you won't miss another video hey thanks again for watching and 73 from n4 h and h